guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagami Kate. I've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Look, who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? Now I gotta beat no up the answer? rugby team? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? Are you here to swipe some girls in chain clothes or something? <laughs> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty ass pervert. Sick! I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Look at his lip. He looks. He's got like Henry Cavill Whoa. lip from uh, what is Justice this League. Shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yaku. <laughs> we all need to take him at once. What? Holy shit! Holy shit! Fucker just kicked a rugby ball at me. Damn. I guess he's more than just your average creeper. Yagami, you can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. <laughs> Only one way out there. Talk about a dream profession, feeding up a bunch of high school students. <laughs> and you, you little bastard! And you! And you! Counter, motherfucker! Ow! Motherfucker just punched me directly in the face. I mean, should I've gone easier on that? Also, Greg, my goal in life. Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. Three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it. So you're saying Greg, I should be on Grinder? <laughs> I heard you should head back to Yokohama on oh, 99. Kaido's son and everyone else should be there. I mean, Greg, you just you gotta keep giving me ideas, I guess.
to be fair, Grinder kind of scares me. I feel like I would be like completely really, out of my world on Grinder. Like too many dicks, man. Just too many of them. One dick is okay. That's just way too many dicks. That's like all the dicks. How many dicks? All of them. Really, guys? like a garbage collector just wandering around Japan picking up random items. You can't let them just like punch you in the face like that. Probably pick up some uh, health waste. potions and shit. Some Odin. Some Ani, uh, Giri, a bento lock. Let's get some bentos. Let's carry around some sushi. Because carrying around sushi in your pocket is always the best thing to do, right? Thank you. Now we have food. Wee! It just makes me think of, uh... I mean... Duh. All I know is that what I learned from Futurama is that when you have sushi from a, uh, you, when you have gas station uh, uh, egg salad, it gives you superpowers. So, everyone remember that. Always eat gas station egg salad because it gives you superpowers. Or gives you, like, <laughs> makes you the smartest oh, man. man alive. You almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up <laughs> that bad. In all seriousness, the worms. The yes, Amy. Coming. Yes. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow! Look who's talking. Yeah, exactly. But that's Monster. where their speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. That is a hell of a fucking line, uh, Hammy. Jesus. Like, I don't 
don't know at that point, is that really like a day like worth off? Because food poisoning is one of the worst things. How many of you guys have ever had bad food poisoning? Because holy shit, when you're like on a toilet shitting and vomiting in between your own legs at the same time, it's not a good time. It's not a good time. Let me tell you what. Not a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have a shit bucket like nine. Time to go to Serio High 8 and put an end to the bullying. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys know this. I learned this lesson the hard way. So one of the things I learned that like they don't really talk about when it comes to um, uh, COVID, one of the si symptoms of COVID is actually diarrhea. So think about this. I had the real worst diarrhea I've ever had came from COVID. And imagine having something that makes you cough like that and diarrhea at the same time. <laughs> It's a, um, an experience, let me tell you what. Yep, Hammy. Yup. I only shit myself a couple of times doing it, but it happened. Got a hoverboard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Completely, Amy. It's like, could we... That's like, I got sick one time, and one of my, my chat's favorite things ever is reminding me that I, I, I sharded in the shower, and my chat will never let me forget it. It's like it back to the future. Yeah, sounds about right, Tilly. <laughs> oh, Hammy, they they. My chat never lets me forget anything. I mean, like, I feel like if you act like you've never shit your pants, you're lying to yourself or you're lying to the world. I mean, or you're lying to yourself and the world. It doesn't happen very often, but it happens every couple years, I would say. You get something in you you don't realize or... It's not like I short myself weekly, but it happens. Yep, that's what I was talking about, Ghetto. Like how I had COVID and the coughing made me do it. Really, guys? Because guess what? Diarrhea is apparently a symptom of uh, COVID. Dude, it. I only had it for like a week, but that was like the worst diarrhea I've ever had. Yeah, I was just tired, dude. I slept during COVID more than I've ever slept my entire life. I was just, that and the fever, man. I had such a bad fever.
Yeah. Yeah, COVID, especially in the early days, dude. I got COVID getting my fucking LASIK surgery. I'm pretty convinced. Like, it's the only thing that made sense. I missed a week of work because of COVID. And that, or uh, my LASIK surgery. And then after that, got fucking COVID. It was like a week of uh, missing work because of uh, LASIK. And then... A week I worked, and then the week after the COVID came down. Yeah. So how was your adventure, Ghetto? Yo, so are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on, Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? Not going outside. You're giving us lip help. now. I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <laughs> we told you to get your ass up, you little <laughs> slut. Oh. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> I luckily went to uh, to TwitchCon and got didn't get sick. What's the fucking hold up, Coda? You should be thanking us. Yeah, for I work from home, but only two days a week, so Amy. Slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. Oh, that's nice, fuck? Amy. Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right? Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? <laughs> what the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <laughs> yeah. You know what, guys? And remember, everyone. Get you tattoos and cuddle puppies. Leave her alone. Get this tattoos is totally right. and cuddle puppies. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, <laughs> how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. <sighs> what in the hell is going on here? Hey, Lux. Fuck this. Yeah. Well, let's just go. Fuck it. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there now. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result, everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. 
<laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas... I mean, America, and that's all you could... Amy, having a job you enjoy? Respect. My so job is fine. Issue. I don't often say I enjoy it. Voice was the first penguin but in that classroom. that's why I stream, you Can't know, to get certain, do something that I really love doing, you know? But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> she reminds me of the chick from uh, Battle Royale and uh, Kill Bill. <laughs> What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me. Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know That's what, what I'm she saying, thinks? Amy? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, it's a spin-off, Amy. They're like, uh... These guys are like this. The main character in the leather jacket is a former. Uh, he's a lawyer who's like a private detective now. But yeah, Good yeah, stuff, same universe. Yeah, Naturally, I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Kuzer, exactly evil. Genda Law Office. Oh man, I forgot to tell them we went to Yokohama. Sorry, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry, son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I could take a rush job at the moment. How are you doing, Evil? I hope you're having a good day, friend. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son. You there? Serio High. Now I want. Now I want Korean fried chicken, man. Korean fried chicken is fucking amazing. Uh, somewhere near Eugene Cho. Is that the school? Hmm. Huh? Have you heard of it? Dude, I'm like cold. A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiro High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba. And his I'm body sorry, was Saul. discovered a few days ago. They found yeah, find, the find some place that makes it nine. Oh, it's so good. Huh? It's the so good. The body was badly decomposed. But Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead, before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I Amy is so good. Heart. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. Mm. He's also an active duty officer. What, Cal? So you're saying he committed the murder too? Okay. Happy Insurrection Day. Insurrection Day from um. What's Insurrection Day from? 
I gotta go pee. I will be right back. Oh, that day. I didn't realize it was January 6th. In God, I was not thinking of what you were thinking. I thought we were talking about a video game or something, Kel. Sorry. And when you say happy, yeah, you kind of had my brain thinking you meant actually something happy. No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. The remember, remember the 5th of November. He has an alibi for the murder? Dude, I remember sitting in Katie's chat watching it and then we went, she quit her stream and we all went in Discord and watched it. It was nuts. Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. The time has come! Sound the Nefferty! The Nefferty! My love for you is like a truck. Berserker. Would you like some making fuck? Berserker. Would you- My love for you is like a truck. Berserker! Would you like making fuck? Berserker! Berserker, I love your face, buddy. 25 months, a long time. Welcome back to Empire Rod. Oh, here goes out! So I suspect that's the real culprit. The but Nefertis is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. I, I've decided my next tattoo is going to be an otter with a space helmet. Because yeah. my arm's going to be completely uh, space themed, I've decided. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seirio High at the time. And the way Ehara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder. 
Because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right. Well... My arm what is still do for you? fucking sore as shit, man. Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <sighs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Chapter one. Ijincho, Yokohama. A harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher. I don't think so, Cal. They all look the same. Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ahara, was arrested for a different crime. A train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ahara gave the court an Okay, they use the same models repeatedly. That the son he had lost was avenged. Chapter 2. Vicious Cycle. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara, age 53. Senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Seiryo High. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehara has maintained his innocence. He's had no luck getting him to budge. My I watched Zeke play a lot of this game, but not all of it. camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length. But it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? Nahara flew off the handle or something? Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Your Honor. In a warehouse. About three days ago. A body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seireo High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. The chairman mentioned that lawsuit. I'm sh I'm sure Ihara wasn't thrilled with that with the verdict. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it, especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough, and if they find out everyone already knows... They'd show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. She's right. We need to file an appeal in order to show the court our dissatisf dissatisfaction with the verdict. If we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. 
I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry. Give me one more sec. Good, Sayori sent me the picture of Hiro Mikoshiba. So this is the guy Ihara said would be found dead. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? Okay. May I help you with something, Yagami-san? I need a Yaga sure can. Yagami -san Only thing leather is, jacket. Where to start? I can't reveal what happened to Mikoshiba, but there's no harm in asking general questions about him. Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh. Well, this is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him in relation to a separate investigation. What? What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshiba-kun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly, he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. That sounds pretty standard for a school chairman. He wouldn't personally deal with any temp staff. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Mikoshiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor it's... was put to rest. Curel. The court found no evidence of bullying. For but my you had tattoo, your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes, but let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us, but we've washed our hands of the matter. Well, you say that, yet I can't help circling back to the same question: Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret, potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. Something must have pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying now of all times. I don't know what... Could this be what riled you up? But... But this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago. Captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer. So, of course, it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, 
He's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying, then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Yara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. That's my luck. See? Oh, I told you we should have stayed on her good side. How was I supposed to know? Um, so, would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect! I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Sorry, Kaito-san. I'm not, fielding Saul? this one alone. Tsukumo, I like him. You guys can clear out, too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. Alright, Akuta said the faculty room is one floor below his office. There's all kinds of fucked up, huh? You're not supposed to be in here! I'm sorry, did you need something, sir? Oh. Uh, is Sawa-sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you. So this is Sawa-sensei's desk? Hikoshiba was under Sawa-sensei's supervision. Can anything here give me clues about him? What the? Look at all the English books she has. I guess I know what subjects she teaches. Hey, what the? I can't go around messing with her laptop with all these teachers looking. <laughs> Attendance book for class 2-2. That's right, she's their homeroom teacher. Hey. <laughs> Photos of students, but their uniforms aren't from Syria. Wait, could this be Sawa Sensei herself? So this is Sawa Sensei in her high school days. Hmm. Maybe this helps make her more relatable to the students. There's another photo in the back. Does that kid go here too? I'd like to check it out, but I can't be seen doing that. It's the guy who's dead, isn't it? With consent. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. Yes, well, I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiro Mikashiba. What? I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago? Why 
do you, of all people, want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I said that's all. Interrogating someone with nothing to go on isn't very effective. Maybe you should come at this in a different way. You know what? Let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? But you were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully, then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Something weird's going on. This isn't consistent with the reaction to Kodasan getting bullied. Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Mikoshiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. You should have had the sense to leave long before now. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Miko Shibakun, I'm gone. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. But one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shibakun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? <sighs> the kids in the basketball club? Miko Shibakun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently, he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club. That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Them again. They keep popping up for some reason. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa-sensei. Uh, just a minute! <sighs> Kaito-san, you there? Tell me you're still on campus. Why? You suddenly decide you need me after all? Man, don't be like that. Still you going, Ajay. playing teacher's pet with Sawa-sensei? You mean, did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? <laughs> so I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? All right, then. It's drone time. Thanks. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. Head to the gymnasium. Bum, 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 bum. Let's get some milk. I just put a bunch of sandwiches in my, uh, my pants. I got all the sandwiches in my pants. Oh, wait, that sounds bad. Okay, we got 1,700. Okay. 
keep going, 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 going. What? Keep going, 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 going. Who? Keep going, going, going. What? Y'all know I'd be loving this shit right here. R O D J O H N S T O N is here, right here. Yeah, I started it today, OJ. So I finished up uh, Tina on Thursday. So this is my first stream after that. I didn't know what I was going to play for a long time. Huh? That girl, isn't she? Yeah, that's Kodasan. She was in the basketball club too. Maybe she knows about Mikoshiba. Yeah, I'm on chapter two, OJ, I think. That is a pretty fucking deflated basketball, it seems like. Close one. Almost got it. Huh? Huh? You're Kodasan from class two too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I um, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. Ow! Really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Kaito-san, can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? You worried? Hey! Why are you still here, asshole? Who the hell are you, anyway? Talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming! Shady old fuck! Coda! Hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't say anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, a student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Not creepy Don't at all, OJ. Trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. You wiped the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. All good. But it's still gonna be pretty one-sided. You're so full of shit. I'm gonna kick your ass! Ah, beating up high school students. Tommy just loves beating up high school students. It's his favorite pastime. <laughs> You've got a lot of guts for your age, kid. But come on. You really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go! Just what on earth is going on in here? Let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit. Right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. Defeat these punks. You really are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students on their school property? How many times must I tell you to leave our school alone? They attacked me, bitch. For what it's worth, the chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. How should our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? Don't worry. There's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. Not the words I'd use. If I hear anything else about you, anything, 
I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anyone. Oh, and your attire is atrocious. When you show up at a school, at least try to look the part. Now go home. I think she likes me. You hear all that, Kaito-san? I have a funny feeling I'm not wanted here. Can I talk to the chairman real quick? I'm afraid Sawasense has made her point clear. Perhaps it's best you take your leave. After all, you've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Okay, how about this? You can hire me on as a teacher. That way, I can stay on campus no problem, right? But you can't teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No, but I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? You're a lawyer? Well, that certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license to educate. Can't we work something out? I'm afraid something isn't specific enough. Although, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Like a club advisor. Do you happen to have a kung fu club? I've got a few tricks I could show some kids. No, there's nothing of the sort. And on that note, I believe each club already has an advisor assigned. That's... unfortunate. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for Sari-san. Suit yourself. <laughs> don't work too hard now. I need a... The, I need a time to ask around about Mikoshiba. I have to find a way to stay on this campus. Maybe they got some staff positions that need filling. I think I saw a reception desk near the school entrance. Just picking up random twigs. That's the reception desk, and there's a custodian. Should I ask him point blank if they have any openings? Huh? That's one busy bulletin board. Could I find some help wanted ads for the school there? Can I help you? Actually, you already have. I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again. I'm sorry, but do I... Oh. Is this the girl who caught me yesterday? Damn it, why her? Why now? They always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime. And you just proved the old adage true, Monsieur Voyeur. Monsieur Voyeur. No way she saw my face yesterday. Plus, we got the camera back. Okay, take a breath. I should be safe. Sir Voyeur? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs and at your age? Shame on you, sir. And at your age? Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, no, you don't. I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet. You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. Oh. Okay, what is happening here? Sorry, but your evidence is my shoes? Everybody here's got shoes, young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. Huh. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Huh? It's an oil-based substance, so it lasts a few days. 
Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Um... Which means you came bumbling back to the scene of the crime. While wearing the very evidence of your misdeeds. What the? Am I seriously getting busted here by some high school girl? Lamenting your misfortune already? That's what you get for crossing the Mystery Research Club of Serio High. A Mystery Research Club? Now, if you'll follow me to the faculty room, monsieur. Oh, wait, just hold on, okay? She's not bluffing. This could turn out really bad. What do I do? Wait, this is a perfect time to use my new... Hang on, what am I thinking? There's gotta be another way. There's no way I'd have noticed an invisible substance on my shoes. I'll give you that much. But even if I did step in some mystery goop, does that really prove what you're saying? With so many people on campus, any number of them could have walked over that spot. No, only the perpetrator stepped in the coating. I know this because I was there watching your fiasco. And of course, I had the PE teacher who was with me agree to serve as witness. She was too ready for this. Why don't you just give it up already? I've already got so much writing on this. Why ruminate when I could just run? There's no escape, sir. I have even more proof of your crimes. Ugh. The camera may be gone, but fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. With that, I determined everything there is to know about your camera, down to the store where you bought it. Turns out it's an online exclusive, customized to capture high-resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. Were I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice but to cooperate with a police investigation. Sukumo likely covered his tracks well enough, but I still can't have the police involved. Do I need to spell it out any further? You, monsieur, are ensnared. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. She's right. It might actually be best not to run for now. <laughs> 